24. Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Clouds hanging tough right now. Here's our Bob Frando Ford World Sky Cam. The camera located atop the Girard Pharmacy. We're looking west, and uh, we do have uh, plenty of overcast. We had in and out. Uh, Girard been, has been in and out of fog all morning. Uh, right now, they seem to be out, and I think uh, they'll be out for the balance of the afternoon. The big question is, how much will the clearing take place? Uh, because that will really have a big influence on just what the high temperatures will be for the day. Storm Tracker, we had some showers here well off toward the east. Uh, they're moving out of the region. While we can't rely on maybe a few spotty showers overall, uh, we are looking at some breaks to come in here uh, for the afternoon. How many breaks will really determine uh, just how much or how warm it gets. Warmest air will be in the Crawford Warren County areas here near We'll probably have to wait a little bit longer. And it'll be quick because by tonight, more rain comes in and it looks wet. And it's been a pretty wet week here for uh, the last few days of April and the first couple days of May. You can certainly see the influence of the lake. Uh, Dr. Tom Nagapier isn't even at 50 at 49 East Springfield. Bob's got 50 as well. But you just have to get a little bit farther away from that lake and bang, temperatures go up nicely, even with the overcast. Summit Judy has 57, 58 at Penn State. Uh, Barron, even Joe Northeast at 62, and he's practically on the lakeshore himself. McCain, McCain rather, at 58, 59 at the borough. As we head farther inland, uh, you can see where the sun is peeking through a little more strongly. Uh, Sagertown, Meadville, West Mead, all in the upper 60s, where the clouds have been a little thicker. Woodcock Borough, Crossingville at 61, and yeah, guess what's doing out in Warren County? Yeah, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, so it's pretty clear that uh, the clouds are breaking up farther inland right now. Two points going down after getting into the low 60s from yesterday. And here you can see uh, the breaks in the clouds. Doesn't look like much, but it's definitely there for Crawford and Warren County while we have more of an overcast here in Erie. We are finding a few breaks starting to form out over the lake. This will be a slow go for Erie, and we may not get fully in mostly sunny skies. A future cast, though, showing that eh, we may get some late in the afternoon, but that is a tough call. We'll probably still get that little bit of wind off the lake, so right along the lake front, Route 5 corridor, probably not getting above 60, uh, but everyone else uh, will probably get into the 60s, even low 70s from Warren to Meadville, where you'll get more sunshine. Here comes the rain, mainly after midnight. You can see the line goes through uh, just after midnight, and uh, the front goes through uh, early tomorrow morning. That'll bring in some cooler air for the rest of Friday. And we're looking at some showers that uh, could very well return as we head into Saturday. So here along the lake shore, cloudy skies for now and some fog, maybe a spotty shower. Try to get some sun late in the day. Uh, mid 50s lake front, I-90 if we can get some sun, close to 60. Temperatures upper 60s, the lower 70s on the inland side as the sun gradually breaks out a little bit more. Again, maybe a few spotty showers. Same forecast in the Chautauqua Laganey area. Showers and storms return after midnight tonight and go through tomorrow, especially in the morning. Temperatures mid to upper 60s, but once that front goes by, temperatures fall into the 50s here in Erie, certainly by the afternoon. Looking at some on and off showers Saturday, but we'll keep it dry on Sunday. If you know if there's any rains heading your way, you can head on to our website, check out the interactive radar. Only find it at chiriri.com. Yeah, not as warm as yesterday, but I'll take it. Well, not yeah, too bad not out there. Not too bad. We're back in the 70s by the middle of next week. Sounds good. Coming up next on Jet 24 Action News at noon.